Hi, everyone. Um, thanks for taking the time to watch this training video. Um, in it, we're just going to show you how to record your tutoring session and how to fill out your post-session surveys. Um, we ask you to record your sessions for quality assurance purposes, and we'll watch your videos and provide feedback on them um, throughout the semester. Also, please remember to inform your students at the beginning of every session that the session will be recorded for quality assurance purposes. We just want to make sure that they know. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Zoom. And when you start a new meeting, you just need to make sure that you are using your personal meeting ID. So when you click this little arrow here, just make sure that it's checked where it says, use my personal meeting ID. Once that's checked, you can go ahead and start your meeting. So this is what it'll look like. And you'll notice an option on the bottom that says record. And when you click this button, it'll give you two options. Um, one option is to record on this computer and the other is to record on the cloud. And you're gonna click record on the cloud. This will give you access to all of your recording later online. So once you click record, you'll notice an icon in the um, upper left corner that says recording. And you'll see there, as well as at the bottom of the screen, the option to both pause and to stop the recording. So once your tutoring session um, is over and you're done, you can go ahead and stop the recording and end your meeting. So when you hit stop, um, it'll just let you know that you'll receive an email notification when the recording is ready. Um, so the first thing you need to do when you end your meeting is to fill out the tutoring post-session log. Um, we'll provide you the link to this survey, but you'll just go through it and fill out all the questions. It's, it's pretty short and um, it won't take you very long, but we'll make sure that you have access to this. Just don't forget to do it um, every single time that you have a tutoring session. So the next step is going to be to actually access your recordings. So these can be found online um, on your Zoom account. So you're gonna get there by typing in byui.zoom.us and you'll click on um, my Zoom account. And um, on this screen is also where you can see your, um, your personal meeting ID and you can access that. So you'll click on recordings over on the left-hand side and just make sure you're on cloud recordings. So here you can see a list of all of your recordings and the dates and everything. And for each um, recording, there's an option to share. So when you click share, you'll see a few other options. Um, make sure that it's shared publicly, otherwise you won't be able to access the recording later and, and no one else will either. So make sure it's shared publicly and viewers can download it. Um, then you'll you'll copy the link down at the bottom. So you can click where it says copy to clipboard or you can just select um, the actual link part that needs to be copied. But once that link is copied, you'll open up the next survey, which is the online tutor recording survey. And so this survey only needs to be filled out once a week versus after every session like the other one. So you can just um, copy all of your recordings for the week and submit them all at once. So you'll just fill in your name, the courses, paste in your, your recordings um, and hit submit and, and that's pretty much it. So just remember that the, the post session log is filled out after every session but the recordings only need to be submitted at least once a week. And we'll be watching your recordings and making sure that each appointment that you have scheduled in iPlan has the correlating video. So please try not to forget to record any of your sessions. Lastly, this video should have covered um, everything that you need to know, but please feel free to contact our office if you get stuck on anything or aren't sure um, what you need to do.